If you've been watching conservative media lately, uh, over the past couple of weeks in particular, and I hope you haven't been, by the way, but if you have been, you can see in real time the construction of a brand new narrative that serves two purposes. Not only is it an attempt to demonize the left, and brazenly so, but also it simultaneously validates their anti-vax position as it relates specifically to the COVID-19 vaccines. It's kind of a spin on the Matt Boris comic, which makes fun of the conservatives who claim that you're a hypocrite if you criticize society, yet participate in society. And I mean, if we live in a society, obviously you don't necessarily have a choice as to whether or not you participate in it or not. But I mean, this time the claim is that if you rely on modern medicine, if you support vaccinations to stop the spread of a highly contagious, deadly disease, congratulations, you're a big pharma shill. That's literally the argument that anti-vax right-wing pundits are making uh, against the left. Thankfully, Namiki Konst was on Fox News to push back against this narrative, and she was so effective that the Fox host felt compelled to cut the interview short because she was making too much sense, I'm assuming. But take a look, and then I have quite a bit to say about this. $5.6 billion in revenue to Big Pharma so far through the COVID-19 vaccine. I've read your Twitter feed. I've seen a lot of your comments, Namiki. You've been pretty aggressive. You've said that conservatives or anyone else who has questions about the vaccine are anti-vaxxers. You pointed Joe Rogan, I believe, once and called him an anti-vaxxer. Is it wrong to have questions about the motivations of this vaccine? Is it wrong right now to remain skeptical of Big Pharma? Well, I love that you're skeptical of Big Pharma, just like Katie Porter was skeptical of Big Pharma uh, just yesterday, who's a representative from California, a Democrat, and just like Bernie Sanders has put forward three pieces of legislation to rein in on Big Pharma and the fact that they're focused on profits. Listen, AbV, this is a pharmaceutical company, made it spent $1.6 billion in five years on research and development, yet $50 billion went to shareholders, $13 billion went to stock buybacks in, during that five-year period. Their priorities are absolutely Namiki, that's in the wrong absolutely, places, That backs be, up the point. I'm sorry, Namiki, but the question isn't why yeah, I, I have grown skepticism towards Big Pharma. The question is why those on the left, like yourself, have become such blind followers of Big Pharma. Why is it if you have questions... I, uh, well, Namiki, you've been calling anyone that would question Big Pharma when it comes to the COVID-19 vaccine an anti-vaxxer. When did you place your trust so blindly in people that stand to make $5.6 billion from this vaccine? It, the definition of intelligence is being able to hold two thoughts in your head at the same time and be able to consider. Big Pharma makes a lot of money and they're not spending enough money on research and development, which is where their sh priority should but be. But they so should be trusted blindly on this issue? Other pharmaceuticals are stronger. It's not blind. The science is out about the vaccines. The vaccines work. Should there be a booster? I'm no scientist, but neither is Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan should not act like a scientist. Joe Rogan should not be telling Namiki, people not to wear masks. Here's the, not here's, to here's the take truth. The vaccine. This is he what is I'm concerned about. I'm concerned planet. you are a big vaccine booster now, not not because you believe the science backs it up, but because the vaccine has come to represent a political ideal, a political signifier, a political fight on which you think you can win and claim the banner of science. But the wild thing about it, Namiki, is it exposes hypocrisy so blatantly for anyone on the left right now. Do you realize that Big Pharma, when it comes I to... I think that's absolutely... Hold on, I'm hold sorry, on, no hold on, really quickly. Do you realize... But that is a Bernie Sanders bill. Do you realize that the vaccine <laughs> you're, you're, makers... You're supporting the left right now. Excuse me right now. I'm, I'm supporting you're, you're su honest Americans having independent free thought to make a choice about what they inject into their body. And I think when the pharmaceutical companies have complete liability protection on the COVID-19 vaccine, you on the left have chosen a unique time, a really interesting time to all of a sudden call, all, all of a sudden call people who clear. have questions anti-vaxxers. It anti was the Republicans who pushed the liability protection. It was not the Democrats. The uh, Bernie Sanders and Katie Porter are the ones that are advocating to rein in on the pharmaceutical companies' profits so they can put more money into research and development. Which only Do begs the question, that we shouldn't which, have pharmaceuticals? Namiki, which uh, only begs the question, why now did you do it? Which only begs the question, why now did you do an about face and all of a sudden say that anyone that has questions is an anti vaxxer? Why now? No, 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 no. I think Joe Rogan is an anti science person. There's a difference between it being an anti vaxxer and believing that COVID doesn't exist. He did not believe COVID really existed until recently. I mean, that's I, uh, the, the difference. I don't think that's here. fair. We believe in science Nor do I reason, think that's accurate. Which is why. Pharmaceuticals should spend money on research and development and not their right. shareholders. That's the difference. The profit I think, uh, motive. Namiki? The profit motive should be in science. I'm sorry. Yes. 
I think that's an unfair characterization of what Joe Rogan said or what he believes. I think that you on the left have found a very unique time on an emergency use application vaccine that has complete liability protection to switch to all of a sudden have an about face on your trust in Big Pharma. And I think you did it. I think you did it because have, you thought it was a win over science. Republicans. That's all. Nothing yeah. more, no, nothing no. deeper. The Republicans want to keep their base. See, what's happening right now is you guys want to prolong. The pandemic is ending, and you want to keep everybody angry at COVID and the assault on freedom because you have to wear masks. It's God forbid you have to keep your community safe and your grandmother safe. You want to keep that going because it's been working. I got to run to make you. I want to say alive. two things. I thank you for coming on the yes. program. I always enjoy a thank spirited you. exchange of ideas, and I think that what I'm standing up for tonight is I'll independent Americans <laughs> having the ability to make freedom of choice specifically on the very intimate decision of what they inject into their bodies. Thank you, Namiki. I support freedom of choice when it comes to intimate personal medical decisions. By the way, also, I think we should ban abortions and criminalize gender affirming care for trans youth. I mean, you're a hypocrite. Conservatives have absolutely no room to preach freedom in the realm of individual health decisions because for decades, they've been on the wrong side of an issue that society is desperately trying to move on from. Abortion, and they're currently on the wrong side of history when it comes to trans issues. But I've just got to say here, uh, Namiki Konst, excellent job here. That is exactly what a leftist should do if they get invited onto Fox News. Second of all, by this guy's logic, the only people who can actually legitimately criticize Big Pharma without being hypocrites are faith healers who don't rely on any modern medicine at all. So you're a hypocrite if you criticize Big Pharma if you've ever taken medication. So my nephew who takes insulin, apparently he is just a Sanofi shill, right? He needs insulin to survive because he has diabetes, but little did he know, he's actually just patting the pockets of the CEO of Sanofi. What a shill. I mean, this is the logic. I'm being hyperbolic, but obviously if you extend that logic to its conclusion, that is the argument that this buffoon is making. He adds, uh, you've been calling anyone that would question Big Pharma when it comes to the COVID-19 vaccine an anti-vaxxer because they're anti-vaxxers. When did you place your trust so blindly in people that stand to make $5.6 billion from the vaccine? Obviously, this is a very low IQ position to take, and he's deliberately misrepresenting the left's position. The left isn't blindly placing their trust in big pharma the left is saying scientific data indicates that these vaccines are highly effective and they're safe so if you want the pandemic to end this is the correct measure to take mass vaccination so we reach herd immunity so we can all move on but you're just saying oh well you know what this is you shilling for big pharma because if you want people to take the covid 19 vaccine you actually have an ulterior motive. You don't really care about them getting vaccinated and being safe. You care about the profits that Big Pharma is making. Is that really the argument that you're making? I mean, talk about bad faith. What a fucking bad faith lunatic you are. The crux of the left's argument is that pharmaceutical companies are prioritizing profits over people. They prey on people who rely on their drugs to survive and knowing that people have to take these drugs to survive, they then jack up the prices in order to increase profits. I mean, it's exploitative. That's the argument that we have against big pharma. And a lot of leftists argue that we should nationalize some of these big pharma firms. Of course, pharmaceutical giants like Pfizer should be nationalized. We shouldn't have privately manufactured COVID-19 vaccines, but this is what we get. We live in a late stage capitalist society. So because a private option is the only solution, we shouldn't reject it just on principle. We should do what's necessary to end the fucking pandemic. This isn't hard, right? This isn't difficult. You're not a hypocrite if you're against big pharma, but you promote vaccinations. But this Fox News host is grasping for straws because he is anti-vax himself, and he desperately wants to find some way to validate his position and also simultaneously demonize the left. And what's shocking to me is that all of these capitalists on Fox News, they don't even understand their own system. What's more lucrative for a company like Moderna or Pfizer? Ask yourself this. Is it more lucrative to just create some sort of ineffective or even unsafe vaccine that you distribute and then people get sick and they immediately uh, stop taking it i mean is that going to be better for long-term profits or is it more lucrative to actually make an effective and safe vaccine but be the sole manufacturer of the global supply of said vaccine what's more profitable what do you think is actually going to be the best thing 
that this pharmaceutical company should do. I mean, that's not to say that we shouldn't be concerned with the safety of these drugs. Of course, they'll cut corners to save a buck or two, but that's why we support regulations on the left. It's the right who is in favor of deregulation. Trump boasted about all of the deregulation that he did. So yet, you support a president that deregulates, including the pharmaceutical industry, but then have the nerve to claim that it's the left who's promoting these unsafe vaccines when they've been proven by scientific data to be effective and safe? I mean, I, I just, I, I can't take it. Like, the disingenuity here is so over the top. He's so hyperbolic, so disingenuous. Nobody who watches this should take this guy seriously. But unfortunately, we live in a country of a lot of uninformed people, with a lot of uninformed people, rather, and they actually think that this argument is persuasive. And if Namiki Konst wasn't there to push back on his bad faith attacks on the left, then they would just gobble up the propaganda. Now, what I love is that after this imbecile implied that Namiki Konst is a big pharma shill because she's pro-COVID-19 vaccines, he then goes on to suggest that really she's only taking this position not because she wants to end the pandemic, not because of the scientific data that's available for everyone to see. It's because she's a partisan hack. It's not the Fox News host who's the partisan hack. It's the leftist who wants to end the pandemic that's killed more than 500,000 Americans. That's actually the partisan hack. Here's the thing. Facts don't care about your feelings and the scientific data that's widely available that you could be reporting on, that's not partisan. Choosing to believe it, that is partisan because Republicans made it partisan. You're the ones who politicized the pandemic. You're the ones who said early on that we should sacrifice grandma to the gods of the markets in order to make sure that we don't lose profits, we don't hurt the economy. Your network argued for herd immunity early on and just pretend as if the pandemic isn't a thing. And yet this buffoon is claiming that it's the left. They're the ones being partisan because they want to end a pandemic. Give me a fucking break. It's like saying, if you want to cure cancer, you're being a partisan. Why are you supporting, you know, chemotherapy? It treats cancer, but sure, it also is really bad for people's health. You're basically injecting poison into your body. Why is the left so partisan in this here? Can't you denounce this poisoning of people, chemotherapy? I mean, this is the level of disingenuity we are dealing with here. So this individual, I don't know who he is. I haven't seen him on Fox News before, I don't think. But I mean, this is a blatant propagandist. And thankfully, he's not a very persuasive propagandist. And it didn't take much effort of Namiki Konst to completely dismantle the argument that he was making. Of course, you're not a big pharma shill if you support COVID-19 vaccinations, and uh, contrary to what you want to believe, you are anti-vax if you're literally against a vaccine that is going to help us end the pandemic. I know that anti-vax has a lot of negative connotations and it makes you seem like a crazy person, but I mean, if the shoe fits, you're wearing it, right? So stop being anti-vax and we won't call you anti-vax. Get the fucking vaccine, shut the fuck up, let's all move on from this goddamn pandemic once and for all. Jesus Christ, this isn't that hard. Beta male.